very much professor Eric Hanischek for coming to Brazil and I, do, I would like to hear your opinion and how uh, uh, education can improve our economic and looking in the future of these nations. The message I have is a very simple message that the economic future of Brazil is highly dependent upon the quality of the schools in Brazil and if the schools in Brazil are to improve, then Brazil can expect a much brighter economic future than if the schools remain the same. So, but uh, uh, in terms of, uh, so you showed us during our presentation, so uh, the correlation between uh, the years of schooling and the GDP increase, but then you mentioned that this is not a, uh, in fact, it's wrong to, to correlate like that. So can you uh, disc discuss a little bit on uh, a better way to, to, to correlate improvements in GDP instead of years of schooling with uh, quality of education? Mm -hmm. And what we can do in Brazil? What's your recipe, <laughs> if there is one? <laughs> well, the years of schooling has been such a common measure of the amount of schooling and learning that goes on. Um, and the basic reason is it's easy to measure. I can tell you if somebody is in school or not, but that doesn't tell me whether somebody's learning. Mm -hmm. What we've found is that it's possible to have schools where kids basically don't learn very much over time. So that just saying, well, they got another year of schooling doesn't mean they got another year of learning. For the uh, large picture, the macro picture of economic development, what we have are international tests. There's the PISA test and there's the TIMS test written uh, that's run by another organization. But what they basically do is take a common math problem and walk it around the world and see where can kids answer this problem and where can't they? It turns out, maybe surprisingly, that scores on these international math tests or science tests, the PISA tests, are good measures of what kids will learn and the skills they will have when they're adults. And these turn out to be very, very good measures and they're very highly predictive of which countries are going to grow or not. Growth is quite closely related to the skills of the workforce in the country, and those skills are reasonably well measured by these international tests. So, and uh, if, I, if I'm correct, so uh, comparing Brazil with Mexico, so there is like a gap, 20 something points in, in, in scores in PIT in PISA test. So what would happen to Brazil if you just increase 25 uh, points in our, uh, in our uh, performance in PISA test in math or either reading? So what would be the consequence to the GDP or to? So I've um, looked at these simple comparisons and said, what if things we saw in the past, that test scores are highly related to growth rates, continue on into the future. And what if we think of a, what I would call a feasible policy? I think it's feasible for Brazil to lift up the quality of its schools to Mexico. It's not 25 saying is, you know, 25 points is... a tiny amount. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, uh, the, according to history, according to historical patterns, um, all workers in Brazil would get on average an increase of 11 percent in their paychecks for the remainder of the century. If Brazil could get the quality of its uh, schools up to that level, the quality of its labor force would be a bit higher and that higher labor force quality would translate into 
pretty dramatic differences in earnings. And I, I think it's of the level that people pay attention to. Yeah. If, if I told you <laughs> yeah, you could get 11% more <laughs> next year, you would probably be happy yeah, sure. with, with that. <laughs> yeah, sure. So then what can we do to, let's say, to improve this tiny amount? So what we are first, would be our first priority if you have something to, to leave for us as Well, the, the research. <laughs> The research that we have that is now started in the United States, but it's gone around the world, including some Brazilian studies, suggests that the really important issue is the quality of the teachers. So this is a, an issue that it gets a little bit um, controversial when we're talking about changing the quality of the teachers. Mm -hmm. But what we know is that some teachers are just much better than others. And if we had more of those much better teachers, mm -hmm. we could, in fact, see considerable gains in the learning of students in Brazil and get that 11% or even more uh, because the projection of getting to Mexico is a pretty modest mm -hmm. uh, change. Sure. And if you got closer to the OECD average or something like that, then you're talking about really dramatic changes that solves all the fiscal problems of Brazil and at the same time supports the schools, supports the health, supports the improvement of the environment and, and all of the other issues that are on the agenda for Brazil.